Okay, so I'll show you two ways you can make your, your page. You can either have product blocks, simple way, or you can add a photo for each item, link it to the sub page, and you would have to make, make a sub page for each item. Very time consuming, but if you don't have to change items very often or don't have too many items, you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you want to make your own buttons for those, go to your PayPal account. Go to Merchant Services. Create payment buttons for your website. Now, even if you're not going to have a sub page for each item, you can still come here and get a view cart button that you can put on your site. All right, so we're going to do an add a cart, add to cart button. change the, the button style buy now donations all right shopping cart item name iPhone 5 item ID this is if you have an item ID for your item and that item ID is something you made on your own to differentiate between your items okay put the price there All right, here you can add a drop down menu. Let's say you had different colors. Black, white. Could remove three. Okay. Colors. Another drop down menu. Text. Okay, you can add the weight of your item. Tax rate. Okay, so if you don't want to sell items that you're sold out on, you can go to track inventory. Put the quantity you have in stock, let's say five, and then you can put alert quantity here, let's say two. So when you have two left, they'll email you and let you know. Now, when you run out of stock on the item, you can either yes, customers can buy the item as usual, or no, customer won't be able to buy the item. And then you could take the customers to a specific page on your site. And you can uh, have order options or explain that the item sold out or whatever. Okay, step three. You can have special instructions, shipping address, take customers to another URL when they cancel the order. So you can make a site, an invisible page on your site where you could uh, offer them discounts or something to complete their order, whatever. All right, that's about it. Create button. Okay, so we can create the button now. Create button, and this is what you will need. This is the HTML code. Select the code. Control C, copy. And this is how it will look for them. Black, white. And now after we make an add to cart button, this is where the menu shows up, where we can create a view cart button. I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so I'm gonna take the code they just gave me. You're gonna have to get a custom HTML under basic. Move it right under the item. And paste. There you go. You can add that to each item. Or you can make a separate button for each item. Let's save this for white or a different style. Okay, 
So the customer could either buy the product here or they click on the image and they're taken to the individual page for the item that you made. Okay, now I'll show you how to make the view cart button. You can use a smaller button or you can use your own button. Uh, for now, we'll just uh, use a regular one. I recommend this for everybody even if you're just going to use regular product blocks on your site and not have individual pages for each you should still add a view cart button on site copy go back to your site now we'll want to add it up top somewhere so I'll make another column here so I can add it to the right of it add a column insert my title in the column this to the right, add HTML, okay. paste that code here, copy this code, paste it here. your button. You can put that on every page, put it on your home page, put it wherever you want. 